In this video, I'm going to give you 10 affordable ways you can add some character to your new built home to make it feel cozy and to show off your personality. When walking through a builder grade home, I always notice that builder grade interior doors always look the same in every home. This is because these doors get mass produced and have very generic designs. The builder is prioritizing cost efficiency over unique design aesthetic. You can easily and quickly add some uniqueness to your doors by painting some or all of your doors. Painting the doors something other than a clear white can add some more interest back into your space in your hallways. I really like the luxurious look of a dark charcoal painted doors and door frame. Or if you want to add some color, you can also do a dark navy or like a dark mauve color. The nice part about paint is that you can always just change it back if you get sick of the color. One of my favorite things to find at old antique markets is old wooden doors. These doors have so much lived in character and you can incorporate these doors throughout your home in little bits and pieces here and there. And you can use these for pantry doors, closet doors. Incorporating an antique door into your space is mixing old with new. And this is what will give you your house some, some character and that warm feeling like it's already been lived in. When it comes to adding character into your home, incorporating a little bench or a nook somewhere in your home can serve a few different functions. You can transform an unused space like a closet into a usable bench or a usable reading nook. These nooks are also really great because you can incorporate storage solutions into your benches or nooks. These little spaces also add a cozy and comfortable atmosphere into your space. You can have the option to upholster this bench or this nook yourself and this will add some warmth and softness into your space that can usually be hard to get into in builder grade homes. You can create these spaces as breakfast nooks nooks, reading benches, or little office nooks. The best way that you can show your personality throughout your home is by displaying your own collection of personal items. Seeing what unique items other people have in their homes is one of my favorite things to do when I go into someone's home for the first time. And this really shows off their personality and in their hobbies that they like. You can show off what books you're reading, your favorite books, some quirky antiques that you found interesting, any souvenirs that you have from your trip. And this can even be like rocks or seashells that you've collected. Sometimes you don't know how to display these items throughout your home without it making the space look too messy. Sometimes the best way to display these items is by styling them on a shelf area in your home. You can easily wall mount shelves in different areas of your home yourself and you can use this to display your books or your record albums in a variety of different things. And sometimes I find that builder grade homes and condos actually have little nooks and crannies in different spaces and this is just due to the floor plan design. But this can be a great opportunity to build out a little shelving area in this nook. What is the most overlooked and forgotten part of your home? Your ceiling. Build a great homes will come with flat, plain, and white ceilings, but there's a lot you can do to your ceiling space to add some interest and character to an otherwise very plain area in your home. Ceiling medallions can be an interesting way to frame a pendant light or a chandelier in your home. They will draw attention to the light fixture and really ground it in its place the same way that a rug would in your living room. If you want to add a touch of beautiful detail to your ceiling, consider adding crown molding to the edges of your ceilings. There are many profiles that you can choose from and it really enhances that traditional charming look to your space, especially if you're also adding picture frame molding to the walls in your space. Okay, let's walk over to the next part of your builder grade home that also gets the least amount of love, your bathroom. Builder grade bathrooms are typically pretty plain and lack some detail, but we can spruce it up and make it feel a lot more unique in a few easy ways. Builder grade bathrooms tend to have generic fixtures, generic tiling finishes, and are usually all pretty simple, white or neutral color. The first thing that I would suggest that you could do to add some character to this space is by painting your walls, which is one of the things that might add the biggest difference considering usually these bathrooms are pretty neutral in all finishes. If it's a small powder room, you can really go for a bright and bold color to add a dramatic effect. Or if you want to keep it nice and zen and very peaceful, consider using a lime wash paint to paint paint your walls. Even if you use a pretty neutral color, similar to the paint already on your walls, the texture in the lime wash will make a huge difference in adding some more interest into your bathroom. Another thing that you could do that would make a big difference is to replace the builder grade mirror with a framed mirror of your own. You can affordably thrift some mirrors and get some beautiful antique frames. In your bathroom, you also don't have to go with your builder grade built-in cabinets. You can consider using another piece of furniture for your vanity cabinet. This can be a 
antique cabinet or desk. You can sand these pieces down and repaint them to whatever color that you'd like as well. But you basically want to look for something that is the same height as your vanity cabinet, which is typically around something that's 34 inches high. And this can start to look really interesting when you start to mix antique pieces with new fixtures and, and new vanity sinks with antique tables or desks. And when you're browsing through these antique markets, keep an eye out for some vintage architectural pieces that you can repurpose into your home as well. Things like old barn doors, stained glass windows. You can use these throughout the interior of your home and possibly even the exterior of your home sometimes. One of the big differences that I notice about builder grade homes is that they tend to feel very flat due to the lack of architectural detail and unique materials and finishes. But you can fix this by incorporating your own materials and different textures into your home. Instead of leaving your windows bare, consider adding drapery to your windows. So things like curtains will really add some more warmth into your space. And when you're choosing furniture for your space, think about incorporating a variety of different textures and materials. For example, if you wish you had this unique marble for your kitchen countertops. You can still incorporate that material into your home, a marble bowl or a marble dish, or even a side table that has a bit of that marble into it as well. A great way to add some character into your home is by incorporating uh, contemporary pieces of furniture with vintage pieces that already have that character in them. This will give your home that more lived in feeling. You can also incorporate reclaimed wood into your home by including it into a fireplace mantle or accent pieces of furniture for wall mounted shelving or as decorative trim around a nook in your home and you can source reclaimed wood that you can use in your home probably locally around you from either an old barn and this will add some nice texture into your space as well. Very white, simple, and neutral homes were all on trend last year and the year before, but this year I think that a lot more color is going to be coming into homes. And don't underestimate what color can do to your space. One trend that I love to see right now is seeing a room totally engulfed in a color of paint. And this is when you paint the walls, you paint the ceilings, all the trim, the door, and it gives off kind of like a cozy, intimate atmosphere. I would consider doing this to your living room, maybe even your bedroom or a re room in your home. Just ensure that if you're using a dark color, you're okay with the room being very dark and moody. And if the room already doesn't get enough natural light, I would maybe go for a shade slightly lighter than what you might typically put in a well-lit room. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.